Hey, liar. So apparently Steven Sodenberg saw this chick, um, Gina Carano, in like an MMA fight online one time and decided to just make an entire movie based on her fighting style. I don't think that's exactly how it happened, but who cares? Those two cranked out a pretty solid action flick. Essentially, it's an action vehicle for first-time actor Gina Carano. It's what they tried to do for uh, Taylor Lautner in Abduction, except in this case, it actually worked. They rounded up a decent supporting cast, which includes um, Michael Douglas, who is looking pretty healthy now, um, Antonio Banderas, um, Ian McGregor, and Magneto himself, Michael Fassbender. And even Channing Tatum was good. Like, as a supporting actor, Tatum can deliver a decent performance. I, I've noticed that recently. Um, The plot dwells into the whole my agency betray me and I need to get him back cliche, but I, I like the way it was done. This was like a smart B-movie that wasn't really a B-movie. I mean, the star is here to beat the crap out of some people, which she does well enough, but as you get more into the plot, there are some twists and turns there that you might have not expect. They kept me guessing on um, who the um, main villain was. Like, it gave you an idea, but it kept you wondering who was the one at the top. And by the end of it all, like, after learning some of the character motivations and seeing some different perspectives, like, I was able to feel for most of them. Even if they were a bit two-dimensional, like, I kind of felt bad for some of them by the end. The soundtrack to this movie is great, but I'll admit it does feel like it could have been in Ocean's 14. Like, this exact score, as is, could have just been copied and pasted in, in Ocean's 14, and you would have just been like, yeah, that fit perfectly. Sonnenberg definitely does his thing, but I'll admit the movie did get a bit dry for me at the time, at times. Not like contagion dry, but still a little dry, mainly in the middle. I was originally just going to say that it's just worth watching in theaters, but seeing how I enjoyed it, but seeing how I enjoyed it a lot more than the artist and the fact that it has one of the best endings I've seen in a while, I'll give it a little push and say that if you're going to the movies this weekend, you should definitely see Haywire. One quibble. Why is this movie rated R? Like, there, there is not a single thing in this that this movie does that I haven't seen in some way in a PG-13 movie. Like, cursing. Three at best. There's one F-bomb and they whisper it. Like, freaking We Bought a Zoo had more cursing than Haywire. Um, the violence never got too violent. There's blood, but not a lot, not in like a super graphic way. A character does get shot in the head, but it's very tame. Like, I mean, if Mission Impossible got away with, then Haywire can keep its head shot and still get the PG-13 rating. Like, someone in the MPAA dropped the ball on that. But if you like the review, please comment, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Later.